Hi everyone, Mark Logan, Foxborough Regional Charter School. Well, it's November 14th, and we've already seen the first snow flurries coming down during drop-off this morning, and we have projected storm coming in tomorrow night, Thursday night into Friday morning. Could be snow, could be sleet, could be rain, could be bright sunshine, uh, but at this point I don't believe that the conditions are going to warrant any change in, in what's happening here at the school, but it does give an opportunity for us to or for me to talk a little bit about what goes into the decision to close school or dismiss early or open late uh, and how you can find out about that information. So obviously being in, in New England, you know, weather changes quite quickly, can be quite dramatic. And, you know, it's important that I am working with a variety of people to assess situations, look at projections and make decisions. And I do that with the National Weather Service, do that with uh, local and state public safety, emergency management, public works staff, as well as the area superintendents uh, to make a decision. Now, I understand a decision can really impact and inconvenience families. Um, and that's why I try very hard to make a call as soon as possible, uh, hopefully the night before uh, an event, because I understand what the, what the challenges are in trying to, you know, to get things together early in the morning so that you can get on with your day. So I try to do that. However, there are times when that's just not possible. We are looking at, at reports at three, four in the morning, and we just don't have information at that point, and we need to wait a little bit. So, um, you know, bear with me during those times. Also, because of our large geographic region, you know, we have families coming from over 500 square miles here, which means conditions in one area could be completely different in another area. So I really take a look at our entire region when considering what to do with school operations. You know, at the end of the day though, it is safety first. My job, my primary responsibility is the safety of our students, our staff, and our family members. And I wanna make sure my decision takes that into account, especially if emergency management personnel and those in the know um, are recommending that conditions are treacherous or they will be treacherous. And so we will, and I will err on the side of caution. So how do you find out about if school has been impacted? Uh, if it's closed, closing early, a delay, I operate and I communicate in a variety of different ways. First, I send a voice message recording to all the primary numbers in our database. I also send an electronic notification to all emails in our database, and sometimes those include some funny videos or some actors to help me, you know, set the stage to kind of lighten the load anyway. I also post to the various major Boston uh, local TV stations, and those would be ABC and CBS, Fox, and NBC. I recommend going onto their website, signing up for their text message alerts so that when we or I communicate with them about any changes, you'll also receive that text message. That really helps in case there are power outages and you're not able to access your news the typical way. And we also post to our website, to our app, to our Facebook account, to our Twitter account, like us, share, uh, it's all good. So, and now that you don't have to ever uh, view this video again, I have included much of the links in the this accompanied email. So, you're welcome. Uh, and please look actually for next day or two for a separate email, but related, to introduce our new Blizzard Bags initiative. It is, has been approved by the state for us to not add on snow days at the end of the school year. We were able to create some learning that can occur at home and then after the students get back from a snow day, which will then count toward that day. It will be meaningful learning. It will be an assigned project, but it will allow us to have certainty on when our school year is going to end, which also helps with families who can schedule camps and vacations and, and other events and, and have certainty there. So look for that for more information and uh, I wish you the best. Have a great day.